This pilot makes it look easy, but it takes hundreds of Marines working together to get these fighter jets off the ground and to their targets. We're on deployment right now, so uh, we're usually pretty busy during the day. We uh, try to uh, have the jets armed and safe before the pilots get here. It's our job to make sure that they're ready to go and ready to drop their ordnance. 4,000 pounds of ordnance. A lot of responsibility for young Marines, some new to the Corps, and some younger than the bombs they're loading. 1982, March. But professionalism and teamwork help them keep the mission going. Me being a senior Marine on the crew, it's my job to look out for them and make sure they're okay and make sure they have the knowledge that they need to be able to perform efficiently on the flight line and not get hurt. With fighter jets coming and going and flapping, the pace can seem frantic to an outsider. But this is just preparation for the coming surge. Four days of 24-hour non-stop operations with all three squadrons which make up Marine Aircraft Group 12. The opportunity to come down here and apply pressure to this system to test ourselves and to see how ready we are for combat, where those weaknesses are that we can correct is really unprecedented and is it a golden opportunity for us to come down here in the sunny skies in Guam, great training ranges, and, and, and practice our craft and get some learning points from it so we can go back and correct and increase our readiness. It's a big machine. We, uh, we all have a part to play and if one, one piece of the puzzle falls apart, then it won't work. And if everything goes right? We save Marines on the ground. Everything we do is for them, to protect the riflemen on the ground. Which is why it's easy to see why Marines here take their training so seriously. Increased readiness and improved combat power generation of MAG-12 is what Exercise Geiger Fury 2012 is all about. Marine Staff Sergeant Jason Price, Anderson Air Force Base, Guam.